Hey Taurus, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So um, could be a disappointing situation that you have just gone through. It feels like you are on the other side of that though. Um, we have the seven of swords, king of swords, eight of wands, and the emperor. So I feel like you are representing the emperor's energy at this time. I feel like you're very much in control of this situation. Um, you know, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I feel like that is the energy of this reading because it feels like somebody tried to kind of get you off of your game. It feels like someone tried to maybe deceive you in some way. Um, but honestly, I feel like you found out what they were up to or what they were doing very quick and it, they didn't really get very far. So this Eight of Wands is coming through as some sort of message or information that came to you just when you needed it. And the King of Swords is you taking action and, as soon as that happened but it could also be someone that tried to deceive you with their words so it feels like communication um, was kind of used in foul play and for some reason it does seem like this could be something that is close to home the five of pentacles usually shows up when we're disappointed from someone that um, wasn't supposed to really do that in the first place right it feels like something that was unwarranted and unnecessary more than anything else but again taurus i feel like you are definitely one step ahead and very much in control of the situation but it does feel like the main thing that hurts the most is the way that this person try to kind of get ahead or get over you in some way but let's see if we can make some sense out of this um never never a great time when the first thing we see is the five of pentacles and the seven of swords but tarot is not always as cookie cutter and pleasant as we would like it to be so i try to be as transparent and i definitely read intuitively so hopefully um that is being depicted because i definitely wish all of the readings were super positive but anyway let's go on to clarifying that seven of swords but honestly if you ask me i feel like tarot should tell the truth right i don't think that it's supposed to be whatever you want to hear i feel like it should be what you need to hear so i think that that's what this reading is going to be about taurus it's what you need to hear about this situation that you know you're definitely a part of but maybe there's something in the gray area that could be brought to your awareness to just help you kind of process and get through this with a little bit more um, strength or just you know trust in the universe we have the king of cups at the bottom of the deck so i feel like there could be some sort of emotional emotional attachment going on in this situation which again makes it all the more painful maybe that's what's really creating that level or that energy of deceit it's because it's coming through from someone that you expect it to be there for you um, but we have the seven of pentacles eight of swords and the magician so you could have manifested um, some sort of new change with this person. Maybe you are dealing with a Gemini. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Overall, I feel like the magician is showing that you had all the best intentions in this situation. But I feel like Eight of Swords and Seven of Pentacles is that feeling of dissatisfaction when we don't really get that same energy in return, when we don't get something reciprocated. It can feel like maybe we did something wrong. Maybe sometimes you wonder, you know, should I have done this differently? Did I make this happen? Or right, sometimes we get into that whirlwind of thinking it was our fault and then we go into self-blame and all of those things. And I feel like Eight of Swords is coming through as you needing to release those self-limiting beliefs, the beliefs that you are the reason for why this hasn't worked right universe is trying to tell you to stop thinking that way and to remember that you had all of the best intentions because sometimes other people's behaviors can make it confusing for us to figure out did we actually do the right thing but i feel like seven of swords is saying this deceit is happening towards you not because of you so for some of you i feel like you just needed to hear that you are not at fault for the things that are happening at this time. You are simply just needing to um, stay in control of yourself so that you don't feel um, like you're losing control because of someone else's decisions. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's clarify the emperor. All 
right, King of Pentacles, again, more of that theme along the lines of you are definitely in control. You have not lost anything here. If anything, you've only gained the truth. You've only gained um, the understanding that somebody here has shown their true colors and now you get to decide what to do with that. I feel like King of Pentacles um, is saying that maybe somebody tried to get something from you. Maybe someone saw you as being very abundant, very prosperous, and they felt a sense of jealousy. And that's really what I'm getting at this time because that seven of swords is usually a feeling of someone that is jealous trying to steal something trying to take something so maybe they saw you Taurus they were like wow they really have everything they're this they're that um, let's see if I can con them out of it so we have the seven of wands five of pentacles and the high priestess the high priestess tells me that some of you knew all along who you were dealing with what you were working with and it feels like you're simply getting validation from the universe because your intuition was correct so it feels like a lot of you had an idea of what was going on but you just didn't have the facts right you didn't have the evidence and now it feels like the evidence has shown up which is why there is that sense of disappointment the sense of wow i can't believe this has happened but now you know that you need to um, kind of trust your intuition right this is you needing to stand up for yourself or believe yourself when you feel something is off sometimes we don't realize how dead on we are about our own situation until we get the physical and hard truth but i do feel like seven of wands is saying that you are now going to keep your guard up at this time because of what you've been through with this person for some of you it could be maybe um some sort of robbery right maybe you got robbed as far as like maybe your credit card or like maybe you got robbed like your house or your car something along those lines i'm getting robbery for some reason but it feels like basically there's been some sort of deception and so now you can't help but feel like it's time to keep your your guard up you're just trying to protect yourself at this time which is normal and definitely expected from anyone that has been through a situation like that but honestly i feel like the main thing that universe wants you to know at this time taurus aside from the fact that you have that you are very much in control is that your intuition was correct and that you need to trust your gut more often um but let's clarify the eight of wands And we have the five of cups so again more energy surrounding the fact that this is not the most pleasant but again i think the fact here is you have the truth better to have the truth than to be blind and i feel like you are far from blind at this time in fact everything is pointing towards you having all of the information that you need to make certain decisions moving forward because now i feel like you're in that position where you need to make some choices now that you have the truth at um the palm of your hands so we have the hermit ten of pentacles and the ace of swords again i feel like you have a lot going for you there's a lot that you um, have at your disposal i feel like you're a very abundant person and so that is maybe the reason why you're in the situation in the first place um, but overall i do feel like the truth is what's going to set you free from something here i feel like the ace of swords is saying you're getting the clarity you're getting the confirmation that you needed in order to determine whether or not you could count on this person to be a part of your legacy to be a part of your journey so with that hermit i feel like now you're really looking within um and realizing that you know certain things are not going to serve you anymore right you need to let go of um false pretenses or, or false information now that you have the truth it's simply kind of doing a swap you had maybe an idea of something at first now it feels like you have enough to kind of change that and reframe or restructure how you want your future to look like knowing that you have this truth and honestly taurus i feel like a lot of you already know this a lot of you are just getting that reassurance because you didn't realize uh, maybe how close this was or maybe there's something here about you being able to still prevent this from happening if it still hasn't happened right because i feel like this the high priestess is coming through very strongly like some of you currently right now have a hunch that something is going on and maybe the universe is trying to uh, forewarn you so that you can make some preventative measures and actually maybe do your research and prevent something from happening to um you know you in some way so i do feel like this could go both ways this could be a preventative message right maybe the universe is trying to prevent something or you're simply getting that validation that whatever you already know 
about what has happened is you know just kind of like a reinforcement for your intuition so take it how it resonates definitely a little bit of a complicated one but hopefully this was helpful and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one